we're going to prove that both of these are the inverse of each other or see if it works. So first off, I'm going to do f of g of x. If I do f of g of x and then g of f of x and they both equal x at the end, that means that they're inverse of each other. So um, f of g of x, so I end up with uh, 4 quantity, and I'm going to plug in g of x for each x value in f of x um, plus 2 minus 8. So let's distribute the 4 across what's inside the parentheses. I get 4x over 4 plus 8, and then minus 8. So these 8s cancel out, and then the 4s cancel each other out, and we're just left with x. Okay, and then g of f of x, we end up with um, same principle. So 4x minus 8 over 4 plus 2. All right, so we can rewrite this as 4x over 4 minus 8 over 4 because we just, they, they as long as they keep the same denominator, it's okay. Plus 2, so this, these cancel out, so we're left with x minus 2 and then plus two, so these cancel out, and we're just left with x. So that proves that they're the inverse of each other. And then, uh, is there any restrictions on the domain? Uh, no, it's all domain, all real numbers. And the reason why is because x isn't in any denominator, so you can't make any kind of uh, divide by zero uh, fractions or um, violations so it, it works like this and then um, yeah f of g of x equals g of f of x and versus because they both equal x oh equals x okay and that's it